Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Um, this one is part two of the cladding, showing you a more sophisticated type. Okay, as you can see, I'm using the same model as in the first part. All right, and I've got an elevation here. Just draw an elevation, go in there. There we go. All right, let's take that fill. It can be any fill for now. Um, I put an Archicad layer and I use 50%. All right, let's trace that. Okay. All right, so we take this fill, we drag it up. Okay, what you do is now you copy and paste that. Uh, copy. Paste, um, same position, we select one of them and we offset by, let's make it 200 mil, there we go, and we take another one, so we're going to make another copy, so let's just uh, copy, paste, using a shortcut this time, select and we offset by 30. Okay, now we take the very first one, we select, we don't need that anymore, we delete, and here we um, select the outer one, and with a space click, be again on the fill, we cut a hole. Select this one, again, I don't need that one. All right, so I take a different fill, let's make it 25, a bit of color. It, it's purely just for me as feedback. Uh, I'm always put everything on the Archicad layer for now. All right, and we just draw a line, in the fill x 30 plus. So as you can see, so that's 30, same as this one here. So all I want to do is now, I drag over here. Duplicate this, I, I like to spread it out for now. Um, spacing, two meters just what I need. I don't need to pick a path, hit okay, and we spread this out. As you can see now, it's going slightly over, so it obviously would have to be a bit less than two meters. So what we could do is, you can see they're still selected, because then it's easier than just count by one. All you have to do is go up here, and it tells you, well, there you go, it's 24 items. All right, so, what we do is we um, undo, go back in here, and this time we say in cream now uh, distribute minus one, and we put in 23. There you go, perfect. All right, next bit we do is we do some horizontal um, stripes. All right, let's draw one here, there, and Y, 30 down. So again, they're the same, obviously. And I like to spread them out by one meter. Let's spread one meter. Again, I don't need a path, nothing. Uh, okay. So, what we do is now, we take this one, but we don't need that one, and we take every second, and we drag that up, there you go, you can already see what I'm getting at, so let's select both of them, and then again we just multiply them along, okay, so what you can do is before you do that actually, it's a bit easier, would just say, oh, I spread them out by going there, 4137. Okay, so let's go back and select this, and we go back in here, spread 4137. Don't need those. Okay, we don't need those ones either. 
we close that into bits. There we go. To drag it down. Perfect. Alright, as you can see what we do next is we cut off what we don't need. So let's go there. And select those and we cut off again. Go here. Delete. Don't need those ones. Alright, and as you can see because of my tool again, you know this this doesn't look nice, but you know, if you do your own, just do the exact measurements, you know, use the calculator a bit to see what you actually need. Delete. Okay, that's our cutting now. So let's do first a copy, obviously, because I need to go into a profile manager. And when you want, I call this cladding one. Okay, and let's just paste that back in here. Um, center of couldn't feel will do zoom to past elements and take a corner and just put it there. I might even move that down. Gonna see in a moment what we do. Alright. So we got this now. So what's important is you select this and you have to give this a material down here, override surfaces, uniform, and I click, and I have here some cladding surfaces I put in, there we go. I'd call this cladding one. I select the other ones, there we go. Deselect that one, obviously. And this one here, just to make it different, we could give it another name, but for me now, I have the same one, okay? So in reality, just select everything. Let's just pull it again to show you what we can do. And I change this now to my cladding stripes. Okay, I can store the profile. I can use it as a wall, you know, a beam and so on. For me, wall for now will do. Uh, I might, in case I need a beam, store the profile. Okay, let's get back to our 2D drawing. So I'm taking this um, profile now, which is up here. Usually I have a default setting right here as a wall. And so you go to your profile setting here. One click and we choose the one we just did. Clad in one. And here it's important you um, add the surfaces you need. For this purpose, I go again to my cladding stripes and I will put it on the ArchiCAD layer for now. Hit OK. And I go into that corner and start drawing. So you can see that's the cladding we draw at the moment. So, just let's go a little bit like this because it doesn't have to be exact at the moment. But what I want to do is, let's just go out here. If we go down to 3D, you'll see what happens. All right, cutting should be somewhere. Oops, there we go. It's a bit long. So you take this, pick that one, and you want to move it up. Okay, so we move this up. There. As you can see, I don't know if you remember, we had a 200 mil offset. So now this is exactly that height. All you have to do is, we go minus 200, elevate. There we go, and from the top, we do the same obviously here. We take this and uh, we move it 200 that way. Drag X 200. Okay, so you take this cladding and we move it in. Now I want to move it in just by 30. Why 30 plus? So so it only sticks in, sorry, I mistake, do it again, crack, um, Y30 plus, all right. So going to 3D now, we have this still obviously sticking out, but 
we got 30 mil going in. Next bit you have to do is we go to our solid element operation and we will cut that out. So the target elements for me here will be my wall. So I select this one, which is still you can see that's important because it, it has to be cut off. This wall and this wall. So that's the target. Operator elements, obviously this one. And from here you, you uh, use the subtraction. You can, if you want, say inherit from operator. That's a targeting surface. In my case, I like to do that. So I click here, execute. Okay. This one, I have to still on an Archicad layer because I always do that. But I've got a layer created myself, which is called 3D cutting elements. So I move it to that layer. And now I can turn that layer off. And as you can see, it is nicely cut out. Go a bit closer. Okay. Now what's important, you can see already, this is a bit funny here. And that's an architect feature. So if you go to your layer system, the cutting element here, you have to change this number. Because I used the wall, and the wall is, is on the same number here, um, on one, I think the walls are on, uh, walls external, I've got a one. So what you need to do is you go there and put the cutting element on two. It can be any number, just as long as it's different to one. And I like to actually um, up this, up that here. Two, two, export, should build board. Okay. And you see it gets rid of it. Okay. Perfect. So there you go. So that's, that's a different way to do a cladding. But just wait before you go, there's more. What is really cool, the cutting element obviously is connected to the walls. You can then produce for your client a couple of different options quite easily. I'll show you this. I prepared a couple of options. So um, let's just turn that back on. I select this and we change that one. So cutting one, let's change it to cutting two. Okay, just calculate it quickly, there you go. And if you now turn that off, beautiful, isn't it? Straight away cut the way you want it. All right, let's do that again. This time with another one. Turn it back on, select. And number three, bit of a funny one, doesn't matter, it's good to see how nice it is. See, cut out. And last one, and then I'll let you go. You can do your own. Oops, okay. Um, let's go to number four. Oh. That's a nice one, and <laughs> we just sort of turn it off again. Okay, there it is, beautiful. Let's render one up quickly for you before I go. This is looking good, I am hoping you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you back next time. Bye for now.